Hi everybody! I'm Amor Maximo and I'm just a random person trying to share how beautiful life is. Today, we're gonna talk about airline height requirement, requirements. So if you're up for it, let's go! Every time I have a speaking engagement, especially during episodes of Cali Talks, we we try to well, we do not try. We always ask people also, ask attendees, uh, yung usual na tadong ko, no? Name, nickname, something about yourself, and ask random question. And ita, ita, isa, isa ito sa mga natanong at uh, ano ba ang height requirement? It's one of the usual questions. That is being asked. No, lagi siyang natatanong whenever I go live or whenever I talk to somebody uh, who is interested about the industry. And well, more or less, I give the same answer. So here, let me just share this at least, you know, for you to have an idea. And also, dito sa answer na to, nagbigay rin ng insights si Mondartiz of Fly High Manila. So I hope it is something that would help you out. Here's the video. Sa pag ano po sa tag dito? Sa pag uh, apply po ng flight attendant uh, may possibilities po bang makapasok or ano uh, matanggap ang isang tourism student kahit yung height niya is 5'4 or 5'5 sa lalaki po sa lalaki all right so sige yes, po. okay so mamaya uh, ako na muna kota ko na to guys <laughs> so 5'4 5'5 in reality that would be a, a very difficult uh, it's a difficult uh, mahirap, mahirap makapasok, no? But, uh, I'll be honest, as far as I know, there is one specific airline, I'm not sure, maybe Mond or Jimel would know, it starts with a row and ends with a yal. I think yung guys nila is pretty 5556. This is based on my research, no? So, double check on that. Kasi alam ko may isang airline sa Philippines na tumatanggap siya ng 5556 sa mail. So, with that being said, meron ka ng opportunity. But let's say, dun tayo sa other airlines na 57, 58, 59. So with that being said, if you are 5554, should you stop? Should your dream stop? Tumig tumigil ka na ba? My answer is no. My answer is no. Um, yes. In, hi sa dog ni Mika. Yes, in reality, parang anlayo nung 56 sa 54. But it should not stop you from trying to pursue your dream. Take note trying to pursue your dream because by by pursuing your dream or by trying to you are constantly improving yourself kasi naman iba ang sinasabing pangarap ko to iba sa ginagawa mo ang mga bagay para makabot yung pangarap mo so habang may ginagawa ka ibig sabihin nag-evolve ka sa person let's say wala na tayong magawa sa height baka yung lahi niya talaga or kahit anong lagok mo na ng growy cherry fur at kung ano-ano pang stretching at sports Baka hanggang dyan lang talaga yung height, let's say. But your physical skills, yung aura mo, yung itsura mo, that one, you can improve upon. So yung journey mo, habang sinusubukan mong abutin yung dream mo, is yun yung kailangan mo para sa next part ng buhay mo. Baka hanggang ngayon, yun yung dream mo, so it's your motivation, go ahead. Kung nakapasa ka, edi ayos. Kasi hindi mo rin naman talaga masasabi. Uh, the height requirement is there because it is safety related. Pagating sa aeroplano, may mga bagay na kailangan abutin pag emergency. Kaya may height requirement para siguradong maabot natin. Alright? Uh, para makatulong tayo, etc. etc. Hindi lang talaga siya for visual impact. Meron talaga siyang safety related aspect. So, habang nag improve ka at sinubukan mo ito, kung matanggap ka, ayos. Kung hindi ka matanggap, lah, hindi na sayang yung oras mo dahil on your way to that application, you have constantly improved yourself. So baka ito naman, this will pave the way for the next part of your life. Na hindi mo maabot yung susunod na parte ng buhay mo kung hindi mo pinagdaanan ito. Tsaka sa totoo lang, para sa akin at the end of the day, whether matanggap ka or hindi, okay lang. Pag natanggap ka, ayos. Pag hindi ka natanggap, ayos pa rin. Dahil you already improved as a person eh. Nag-improve yung skills mo. Pag tumingin ka sa, sa likod mo, hindi na ikaw yung same na jumps nung dati. You are already better. And in, in that aspect, hindi ba siya win-win? Hindi ka pa man nag-succeed sa lagay na yun? So for me, just keep on moving forward, jumps. If right now, you are 5'4", 5'5", 
try to take some medicine, um, stretch, sabi nila do yoga, sabi ng iba magdasal ng mataintim, magnobina, go ahead, go ahead. Pero at the same time also, try to improve your other skills, try to gain more attributes. May, dahil hindi lang naman dyan binabase ang pagiging flight attendant eh, sa maraming bagay. Minsan nakafocus ka lang sa height, hindi mo napapansin improve yung pananalita mo, yung, yung look mo, how you carry yourself. So kahit meron ka nung height, hindi mo rin naman na-improve yung iba. So hindi rin mas malaki yung chance na matatanggap ka. Medyo gets mo yung point na just keep on moving forward. There are some things na hindi natin makokontrol. Pero for those things that we can control, let's try to improve upon them. So, try lang. Pero yun nga, ang chismis na narinig ko, yung airline na raw, nagtatapos sa YAL, I think 5556. I might be wrong, but that's what I, as far as I know. You can double check Google on that. Oo. There's one thing that Rachel mentioned for jo, Jom's question na, yes, hindi ko siya na, na hindi, natin, hindi ko rin naisip na sinagot ko. No? Minention ni Rachel to some airlines, walang height requirement, which is true. Which is true, pero may reach requirement. So, yun yung sinasabi ni Grisel na to answer Jom's question, there are some airlines na walang height requirement pero may reach re requirement. And what is that? It is yung may inaabot ka, which is approximately 212 centimeters, I think. I'm not sure. Basta may tama. Thank you, Amira. 212 centimeters, na, which is more or less the height of the overhead storage bin. Kasi same premise. Uh, kailangan mo abutin siya. So, sige, pwedeng 5254, ka. Baka 4.11 nga, pwede pa. Basta kung abot mo, di walang problema. Pero grabe yun, no? Kung 4.11 ka, tapos abot mo yun. Ang haba ng bias mo, parang nakatayo ka lang hanggang abot mo na yung tuhod mo habang nakatayo ka. Wala. Pero, yun. Uh, some airlines, no height requirement, pero you just have to get the reach test. Going back to Janine. Uh, uh, right. uh, yes, Mon. May question ka? Uh, uh, may share ka? Yeah. <coughs> Yeah, with with regards to height also, you may, you may want to consider the um, charter, the, the private, mm. like um, Alphaland, we have Alphaland, then yeah. um, another commercial airline is um, Sunlight Air. Now, they're, they are using turboprops. So basically, ATRs, um, turboprops, tur propeller plates. And mas mababa yung, yung, ano, yung stowage, yung OSB. So Baka, baka, I mean, I, I, I don't want to speak in their behalf, but yeah, I want to consider like platinum, um, sunlight air, platinum or any, platinum. yeah, or platinum. Yun. You may, I you think may want platinum, to also. platinum only gets girls. I'm not sure though. Basta, you can, you can check that. Even military, I think, you, I, military, I think, yeah, news lang din kinukuha nila. But, but yeah, that's a nice add on one thing. Check, check private. Uh, Google is our friend, so. <laughs> Maybe, maybe all the information is there. Operate. Those airlines yeah. that we mentioned in Mon, para specific. Um, thanks, thanks, Mon. Uh, thanks, Grisel. <laughs> Do not forget, you are important, you are beautiful, you are intelligent, you are successful, you are blessed, you are loved, you are exceptional. And if there's anything else that you need, my name is Amor. See you next time. <laughs>